our new now canoe our father our king our father who art in heaven hallowed would be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven thy will be done in our hearts as according to your will hallelujah order our footsteps and establish our thoughts forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation and deliver us father from all evil i consider sickness as an evil so i pray for deliver us from all evil and all evil influ- all influences that are negative are evil influences deliver us from these influences and father on this i just want to say thank you and father i, I will be praying for healing to take place so Almighty and forgiven, Father, I just want to bless you first of all. We, your unworthy servants, give you most humble thanks. We know that we are not worthy. You're the only one that your life and your word in us is worthy. Your perfection in us is worthy. Your light and truth that is in us is worthy. We bless and thank you for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation and we thank you for your preservation and all the blessings of this life that you have given to each one of us. Blessing some of us to be mothers and some of us to be fathers and some of us to be sisters and brothers but above all for your immeasurable love. I thank you so much for this love that that causes us to get along with our neighbors, that causes us to, to be kind to those that may not think like we do or believe like we do. I thank you, Father, for that immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Give us such an awareness of your mercies, Father, that our hearts will be thankful and that we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, Father, but in our lives, that our fruit will demonstrate that we know you and we are blessed by you, giving up ourselves to your service. And by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, Where we fall down, where we grow weary, Father, we depend on you to pick us up, to guide us, to lead us. Hallelujah. We thank you that through Yahushua HaMashiach, our Messiah, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit to to be all honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. There's no one like you, Almighty and most, most merciful Father. From you comes every good perfect gift we give you praise and thanks again for all your mercies your goodness has created us your bounty has sustained us your discipline has chastened us your patience has borne with us your love has redeemed us give us a heart to love and serve you father and a mind to understand by faith that things do exist and healing does come enable us to show our thankfulness for all the goodness and mercy by by giving of ourselves to your service and and cheerfully submitting and all the things to your blessed will through Yahushua HaMashiach. Now, Heavenly Father, hallelujah, whoever it is that is hearing this this prayer, I pray in, in the name of Yahushua, who, who we know is Jesus and the Messiah, I pray, Father, that you send your word upon this vessel, and I pray, Father, that you touch every fiber in this being, every cell in this body. And I pray, O Heavenly Father, that you would restore and renew and take everything out of this body that is not of you. All discomfort, all all uh, sickness, all things that that don't belong in this body, we depend on you. Hallelujah, it's our physician. That's what it says. So we just want to thank you right now, Father. 
Hallelujah. And we remember, Father, in Matthew 4:33, it says, And he went, Yahushua went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. And, Father, listen to this, Father, healing every disease and every affliction among the people. Oh, Father, I want to repeat that again, Father, and I pray that you pour it down deep in our hearts and our souls and soak our minds in this word that we are reading because you're the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. You will be. You healed back then, and you are still healing right now. So I just want to say that verse again. And he went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the gospel of the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. So, Father, whoever is hearing this, whatever their problem is, it says you heal all of it. That's what this the word says right here. Give them the faith to let go of their sickness. Let go in the swelling in the body. Let go in the discomfort in the knees. Let go in the discomfort in the in the legs. Let go in the discomfort in the and the and the body itself and the muscles are in the bone. Let go of any blood if there's any blood clots. Let go of blood clots. Let go of any tumors. Let go of any indigestion. Let go of of of, of uh, if there's a problem with with uh, breathing. Let go and 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 let it go and let your breathing come easy. Inhaling and exhaling, uh, inhaling the oxygen and exhaling the uh, uh, inhaling and exhaling, and our in our lungs are, are breathing free. Hallelujah! I pray, Father. Hallelujah for perfect blood running warm in our veins with the right consistency. We thank you, Father, for the waters in our body being the right consistency. We want to thank you for the for the uh, vitamins in our bodies being the right consistency. Hallelujah! And then, Father, He called Messiah. Your your Messiah called to Him, His twelve disciples, and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction. So, Father, I pray. Hallelujah, that you send your word right now to those that are afflicted. And as they hear your voice, that's in my voice, they will receive that you have sent your word to heal every kind of sickness, illness, and diseases that they won't hold on to any of us. So we speak wholeness and well to the body right here that's listening to this, this audio. Hallelujah, we speak healing to your body. We speak rest, restoration. We speak renewing. Hallelujah. We we pray and ask Father's anointing to saturate your body, restore your body, and heal your body. Matthew ten eight. Heal the sick. He he instructed. Raise the dead. Cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons. Messiah say drive out demons. So, Father, we ask, send your word, Father. Send your word to any family members that have demons and drive the demons out, Father. Drive them out right now, Father. Hallelujah. They may be afflicted with adultery and fornication and homosexuality. Hallelujah. Lying and whoredom and drunkenness and idolatry. I drive out them demonic spirits right now. Hallelujah. Cause them to hear this audio. Let your anointing come through my voice, Father. Hallelujah. Let them saturate with this anointing that you are sending right into their bodies right now. I want to thank you, Father. Drive the demonic strongholds up. Uproot them. Uproot them, Father. Hallelujah. And set them free. Drive out the spirits that is behind the sickness and discomfort in the body. I ask you to drive out the thoughts that keep this sickness 
in the body and in the limbs. Drive those thoughts out, Father. Annihilate those thoughts, Father. Uproot those thoughts and take them out the mind. That nothing will hinder your word from attacking the negative and attacking that disease and eradicating it and moving and moving out any demonic things that's going on behind adultery and fornication and lying and whoredom and drunkenness and idolatry and homosexuality, hallelujah, whatever it may be, man, woman, however it may be. Drive it out, right, Father. Drive it out. Only you can drive it out, Heavenly Father. It says it is... It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous but sinners, Mark 2.17. Messiah is a physician and demonstrate that when you come to him as a doctor, you do not leave him to hand it. Yahushua said to her daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. And the power of Yahuwah was with him to heal, to heal your body. That same power is, is right here in this prayer that I didn't know that we would be praying. Heal the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of Yahuwah has come near to you. Hallelujah. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately she was made straight. And she glorified our heavenly father. She was, she was bent over. Hallelujah. But when the power of father came along, it calls her to stand up straight. Oh, my goodness, Father, I thank you. Oh, I thank you for your word. That is you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your healing virtue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for healing the blind, healing blind people with blind eyes. Hallelujah. We just want to thank you and bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How, how my, our Father appointed Yahushua of Nazareth, the Holy Spirit, with power. And he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. But Yahuwah was with him. Our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. They are buried in weakness, but they will be raised in strength. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the congregation of the church and let them pray over him, anointed him with oil in the name of Yahushua and the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and who will raise him up. Hallelujah. I thank you for sending your Sending your word today. Psalm 107, verse 20. You sent your word today. You're sending your word. Hallelujah. So confess your sins. Get rid of them. Hallelujah. And we're praying, praying right now for Father to touch your body. We thank you, Father. Thank you for your healing virtue. Thank you, Father, for I, I, Isaiah 53. That says, by your stripes, by your stripes, Yahushua, we are healed. We are so grateful. We are so grateful for the healing virtue. We are so grateful for our Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for prospering us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Praise thy name. Praise thy name. Praise thy name. Give an honor unto you. Praise thy name, my Father. Praise thy name. Hallelujah. Praise thy name. Praise you, Father, for everything that you're doing. Everything that you're doing in our lives. We bless you for touching our bodies. You, know, you said in Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And I imagine that you're saying, come to me, all you that are sick. I will heal you and make you whole and well. Hallelujah. I just thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Proverbs 4, 20 and 22 says, my son, pay attention to what I say. 
Turn your ears to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. Hallelujah. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. So I just want to thank you, Father, for touching this body with health and strength. In Exodus 15:26, he said, If you listen carefully to Yahuwah, your Elohim, and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, decree, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. For I am, I am Yahuwah who heals you. Father, he's healing you. Worship Yahuwah your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. We stand on those scriptures. In Psalm 30, verse 2, Yahuwah my Elohim, I called to you for help. And you healed. You're healing right now. You're healing our bodies. You're healing our minds and our souls. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we consider him punished by Yahuwah, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. Praise Yahuwah, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. That's Psalm 103, verses 2 and 4. Now, Heavenly Father, I ask you to look upon little sister's knees and ankles and legs and back and everything, seeing that she's always picking up different things, Father, for the daycare. I ask your blessing upon the daycare, upon her family, upon her staff. I ask that you touch my son's body, his legs, his mind, his heart, his soul, his um, the uh, the blood cells and everything. I pray, Hallelujah, that you render this this body healed and whole. I pray that you touch my other son's body, and I pray for health in that body, and I pray for strength in this body, and I pray for peace in this body, and I pray for joy in this body, and I pray. Hallelujah, that you will grant my sons what they need. Uh, grant them the, the uh, desires of their heart. I pray for my daughter-in-law and, and my, my grandchildren for healing and wholeness and wellness and just keep them strong in your word. I pray over all of the, the home of prayer people's bodies to be healed. If there's anybody sick or afflicted among us, Father, that your word will roll right on in, Father, and that your word will remove any sickness from from within our vessels. I ask that you look in on little Cassius, Father, and we pray healing for little Cassius. His, that we pray for you to remove that trachea. We pray for you to touch his little body. We pray for his lungs. We pray for everything in his little body to be normal. And we pray for other babies also going through. We pray for healing. We pray for restoration of families. And we want to thank you for spiritual healing as well as physical healing. We pray that you will heal people of diabetes, heal them of blood disorders. Hallelujah. I ask that you touch people's eyes and so touch their ears, Father, and give them, um, uh, heal their eyes and, and give them excellent hearing and excellent eyesight. And, Father, remove all the skin disorders from those that have been reaching out for you. I'm asking you to remove any skin disorders wherever you see, Father. We pray for the skin disorders to be removed, acne to be moved, removed, Father. Hallelujah. I ask you to help the women during that time of the month, Father, that they, they have to go through these things every month. I ask that you comfort them as well. Hallelujah. For your great name's sake, Father. I'm just so glad that I can come and, and pray, pray for other people, Father, as well as for myself. We pray for repentance this week. We pray for forgiveness this week, Father. We pray for restoration renewing this week. Father, you want to, uh, 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 Lale Brianna requesting prayers for her niece, Delia, who recently started dialysis due to the loss of kidney function. Due to fluid buildup, she has vasculitis and is in severe pain. Doctors gave her morphine, but it isn't working. So she asked us to please pray for her. She is a great woman of faith and believes in the power of prayer. Father, we are uh, intercede for her right now, Father. Hallelujah, that you will take away that pain 
and let her know, Father, that you have heard her prayers. And as I've just read, you gave us power. Hallelujah. You anointed us with this power that I did firm and effective prayer of a righteous person availeth much. Send forth your word into this body and take away the pain. This we pray, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Uh, we pray for those those children, Father, that are, are, are suffering from different kinds of problems and things. We ask for restoration. Hallelujah. We pray for families that that are going through a severe depression. We are asking for you to to restore. Hallelujah. Restore their minds and and let and we pray for salvation of souls that they come to know the Messiah. And once you come to know Messiah, the peace comes in. And so we ask, Father, that make yourself known. And right now, Father, we pray for you to remove the severe uh the severe depression for your great name's sake we just want to thank you right now father for healing virtue hallelujah and giving thanks to you for all the healings that you have already uh performed hallelujah barbara Dora romero asked for urgent a uh, prayer for a 17 year old niece who is in icu after having a baby she is bleeding heavily so father we know in the scripture that you know how to stop the bleeding. So we are asking you to send your word right in there right now, Father, into that body. And we are asking that you you uh, stop that bleeding, and we are believing that that's exactly what you did because Psalm 107 said you send your word to heal. I just want to bless and thank you. What a wonderful Father you are that I could pray. I could, I could pray. I could be somewhere else and pray in your word. Go and, and perform what you send it for to, to perform. So I just want to thank you, Father. And uh, Father, uh, people have requested for strength. So I already, I pray that you would grant strength to each one that have asked you for strength. For your great name's sake, Father, we thank you. And we pray that, they didn't say what, but the, the mom is sick. And, uh, and you, they're desiring for you, you to heal her. So we're asking that you will send forth healing into these vessels. And we also pray for salvation of souls that people would also repent. Repent in front of you and ask for forgiveness and forgive those that have sinned. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. So Nicole Pollack is asking for, uh, asking for prayer. Uh, they have pain from uh, their gall, her gallbladder. Hallelujah! So I'm praying to Father for you to take away, take away this negative thing, this pain. Take it away, Father. Hallelujah! We ask for healing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Father. Somebody else is uh, Virginia Hancock Young is asking for prayer because of a job interview for a medical coding position. So. We are asking that you would grant her this job, Father, for your great name's sake. And I just want to thank you, Father. I want to thank you for for blessing us to be able again, Father, to pray to pray for the people that are asking asking for uh, for you to uh, to uh, heal them. Margaret Mullen says, "Dear family in Christ, I am still fighting sit of." And sinus procedure complications, but was discharged from hospital a few nights ago. My complications are malnourishment from lack of good absorption, swelling, bleeding, and difficulty breathing. I am in need of prayer warriors to help me plead with the Lord for healing and mercy. The doctor said I must go through one more treatment, which is almost toxic, because I can have a transplant. Please help me pray as I petition the Lord daily. Like the persistent widow in Luke, I need to get back to my children and husband and gain strength to glorify him for his mercy and faithfulness. This has been a fight since May, and I am weak in mind and body. Please pray special prayers for me that this will be for his glory and a testimony to him. God bless you all. Heavenly Father, we ask that you look in on Margaret Mullins, and we ask, Father, that you remove this sickness, stop the bleeding, 
restore all her cells, her blood cells, hallelujah, her nerve cells, her, her, um, her intestines, her, her large intestine, small intestine, her stomach lining in her stomach, her kidneys, her, her spleen, her, her pancreas, and her, um, the breathing, and, and, and her, the blood in her body. We just pray, Father, that you remove all toxins out of it, and uh, we just pray for healing, and we pray that we hear the testimony that that she has been healed. I just want to thank you right now, Father, for what you're doing. We thank you for for the peace that you've given to all of us. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for uh, the uh, Jerry teachers asking for prayer for for the boy, his boy Jacob. He's 11 years and in heart failure. Father, you know you're a specialist in heart. You know just how to heal hearts. Hallelujah. To bring peace to the hearts. So we're asking you, Father, uh, uh, just restore this heart. Anoint this heart and that this, this young boy will grow up to be strong and to, and to have a miracle testimony. A uh, Wanda Dor uh, as prayer for her granddaughter Destiny that gave birth this morning. Hallelujah. She, uh, uh, says she's, uh, She's bleeding heavy, so we ask for you to uh, restore this body. Stop the breathing, the uh, bleeding, Father. Stop the bleeding, and just send forth your word and help to restore uh, this body. We pray for the, the the people that are caught in those was caught in those hurricanes. We pray for help. We pray for healing. We pray for comfort to their heart. We pray for the orphanages throughout the world that you will send in help. We ask you to have mercy upon us. Uh, we, for those that have, feelings have been hurt and they have been wounded by friends and different things, we ask for peace in their heart. We pray for those in the sheriff department. If anybody's afflicted with anything, we pray for wellness and wholeness. We pray for salvation of souls as well. We pray that for all that, for the military, our people that are in Japan. Hallelujah, we pray that you touch them and grant everything that they need. We bless you, Father, and we pray for all your law enforcement, CIA, and all the different systems that you've set up to ensure that we live as much as possible peacefully. Thank you for healing, Father, and I pray, Father, that, uh, that you would, uh, that you would remove prejudices from our hearts and, and remove superior, superior attitudes from our minds Hallelujah. We ask that you would cause us to be humble, Father. And I ask that you cause us, cause us to know how to show respect and honor those that you have placed in charge of things, Father. Hallelujah. We ask that you take away rebelliousness and, and show people, Father, how they are supposed to be in the name of Yahushua and that they would seek your spirit, seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Seek your rules and seek your way, O Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. So that they can, can move by the Holy Spirit and not, not be unbreak, not be like a break of a twig and, and hurt every time somebody says something. We ask you to help us with all of that, Father. So that we bend like a rubber tree in the wind. So help us with that, Heavenly Father. We all need help. And Father, I ask your blessing. Please help me, Father, with all the things that I have to do as well. Help all of us. Hallelujah, that we have full plate, plates. And I pray thank you so much, Father, for your healing virtue that you send forth into the minds, hearts, and souls of your people. We speak healing. We speak restoration. We ask that, Father, just touch your body right now and restore your body to fullness of health. May Father continue to bless you, going in and going out, bless your body, heart, soul, and mind. May his light continue to just, his countenance shine up on you. Hallelujah. When his light shine up on you, any sickness and stuff have to go. So I thank Father for you. Hallelujah. In the name of Yahushua. Hallelujah. Be, be healed, be blessed, and be prosperous. Prosper in him. Hallelujah. Because Father says, all the works of your hand, that he will bless all the works of your hand. He has sent his word to heal and restore you. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive your healing right now in Yahushua. 
thank you, Father. I just bless you, Father, as we close off this segment. All things come from you, Yahuwah. And with gratitude, we return to you what is yours. You created all that is and with love formed us in your image. When our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You gave your only son, Yahushua HaMashiach. You love us so much that you clothed us in him. You love us so much that that you caused us to be light in this world. So I just want to thank you. All that we are and all that we have is is a trust from you. And so in gratitude for all your beautiful gifts and all your provisions and all your promises, we offer you ourselves and all that we have. Have mercy upon us, Father, in union with Messiah is often for us by your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, that we are one with Messiah and one with each other. Hallelujah. You're the giver of every good and perfect gift. Teach us to render to you all that we have and all that we are, that we may be a praise, praise unto you, and that we praise you, not with our lips only, but with our whole lives. Turning the duties, the sorrows, and the joys of all our days into a living sacrifice to you through your Savior, through our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach. I just want to thank you, Father, for your word that never returns unto you void, Father. I want to thank you for your word that does not, the only copyright on it is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, that you give your word freely. So thank you again, Father, for the beauty of your word, and we bless you, and we thank you in advance for all the healings that will take place because of not only my prayers, but all the other brothers and sisters that are praying for healing, restoration, and renewing. Thank you. In the name of Yahushua. Hallelujah.